We're going to pray for knees today. So I ask the Lord, sometimes the Lord's so funny in how he responds. I ask the Lord, what do you want to pray for today? And I, I went to get up immediately after that and a knee popped. And then I'm like, Lord, are you telling me knees? And th then I try bend in and my other knee popped. So I think the Lord's saying he's healing knees today. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to go after that. So if that's you, here's your assignment. I want you to want your healing. I want you to hope that God will heal you and just have enough, enough belief to give God a chance to heal you. But you got to want it. You got to want your healing. You're probably wanting your healing if you're watching this video, but if, if there's a reason you wouldn't want it, um, search your heart and come back when you do want it. Okay. With that said, let's go after praying for knees and knee pain today, knee related issues. Doesn't matter if you need cartilage and you know, you're having a knee replaced, what, whatever you may have surgery scheduled for tomorrow or next week to have a knee replacement. God can still give you everything you today. I'm not praying for your surgery to go well. I'm praying for miraculous healing for your body. If you choose to get surgery, God bless you. I do hope it goes well. Um, but what I want to see is God move in power and heal your knees. Okay. So with that said, uh, let's pray. And I'm going to ask you to put your hands now on your knees. And by the way, it's best if you can watch this prayer and receive this prayer when you can get up to test your knees. So if you're driving, if you're doing something like that, yeah, you can do it. You're just not going to have an easy way to test your knees. And sometimes the healing comes in the testing. So I prefer if you watch this um, and receive the prayer in a place where you can test your knee, extend it, put some weight on it, move around, that kind of thing. Got it? All right. So I said, you can be standing up or sitting down, squatting. It doesn't matter. Sitting cross-legged. It doesn't matter. Just put your hands on your knee or your knees. Both knees is fine. But if there's one that's a problem, not the other, definitely put your hand on that problem knee. And we're going to pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come in power right now. I thank you that you are our healer and you are absolutely good. There is no wrong in you. There is no evil in you, Father. You are absolutely good and you love to heal. So Holy Spirit, I ask you to come right now in power. Where the, the listener is putting their knee front, back, and both sides of the knee, I ask you to uh, touch them with your healing fire. Touch them with your healing power. Thank you for your presence coming upon that knee right now. You know everything they need. Now, I'm feeling very, wow, a very strong anointing right now. And in the knee, some of you are actually feeling electricity go up and down your knee. Some of you are feeling heat right now and some cool. Um, you might have felt a jolt. Uh, but that's because God is releasing healing to you right now. I, I feel it all the way up and down my, my lower leg uh, to the knee. So um, what I want to also ask you to do is, is take your hand and put it behind your knee as well right now. So if it was on the front, move it to behind for for a minute and father i i thank you for the healing you're releasing i ask for an increase front and back thank you everywhere um, that they need the healing in that knee it is being healed in the name of jesus thank you father that includes all the ligaments and i'm going to name them um, hopefully i get them all but all lcl the the pcl the acl the mcl the patellar ligament the meniscus thank you father 
for healing all of those ligaments. I command every one of those ligaments be healed in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every spirit of pain and every spirit of affliction. I command you to leave now. All pain, get out of that knee right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for releasing the fresh fire of healing upon them. I thank you, Father, for healing all vasculature. I command all the vasculature be made whole in that knee. All the bursas, the bursas, uh, something I wouldn't normally think about praying for, but they're very important. The bursas, uh, I thank you, Father, for healing bursas as well. So bursitis, if you've been wrestling with bursitis, I take authority over it right now and I command it to leave your body. I command all inflammation to go, proper synovial fluid in the bursas, proper vascul um, circulation and vasculature in, in the bursas, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask you for new cartilage in the knees. Even if it was bone on bone, my God, you are the God of the new and the God of life. So let there be full cartilage coverage in the knee. Full cartilage. So even if it was all gone, rebuild it, Father. Make it new as if they were a young child. Make it new as if they were a young child, Father. I I pull on the new knees from heaven. Let them be released to the listener now. Thank you. I command every muscle connecting into the knee to loose all the inflammation to go. I ask, Father, as if they received a massage, a heavenly massage, that you would touch them and every muscle be loosed right now in the name of Jesus. Every muscle be moving as it should, every muscle be flexible as it should, and proper alignment to that knee. The patella be aligned, the knees be, um, lower knee and, and upper knee be aligned on one another properly. The range of motion and, and the motion commanded by the, uh, the by the muscles as they move be proper range of motion. No articulation to one side or the other, but good proper articulation of that knee. Again, spirit of pain, depart. You're going to zero. All pain get out of that knee. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, come with a, a greater fire of healing right now. I want you to assess what you're feeling right now. If, are, you, are you feeling a touch? Some of you are still feeling that fire of healing upon you. Um, some of you may have, have felt it and it's gone away. I, you're healed in the name of Jesus. I want you to get up and test that knee. Move it around. Test it. I want you to assess the pain. I want all the pain gone to zero. No pain left. It doesn't have a right. I, I declare new, um, new cartilage for you. So even if it was bone on bone, I want you to test it. I want you to test it. Okay. Find out, can you walk? Does it feel better? And I want you to give it a rating too. I, I want you to, you know, uh, remember what it was before and ask yourself, is this improved? Is it 20%? Is it 30% improvement? We want to go to 100% improvement and no pain left. Okay. So ask yourself what it is now. I'm going to pray again. You put, put your hands on your knees again, if needed, if you're fully healed hallelujah leave a comment and and testify to your healing give glory to god who healed you but father i thank you for the healing you're doing in the front back and sides of those knees and i ask holy spirit to come in greater power come with another touch jesus come touch with the healing power of the lord let the fire of healing flow through them right now in the name of jesus 
both knees, I command healing. Both knees. So even if you're praying for one knee, I'm praying for both of your knees right now. On both knees, I command you be healed. Father, I ask this, this listener be able to run again. I ask this listener be able to walk up stairs again, climb stairs again with no pain. Be able to jump and squat. Thank you, Father, for freedom for these knees. I remove trauma. If, if you've suffered a sports injury or some other traumatic injury, I remove that trauma in the name of Jesus from your knee, from your body. I declare it removed from all cells. It must go from every cell. No cellular memory of that trauma left. And those cells come into alignment with heaven. Your knee come into alignment with heaven's plan for it, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the healing fire of the Lord coming upon the listener now. Now, I want you to test it again and assess. All pain get out in the name of Jesus. Go to zero. You are not staying. Test it out. Thank you, Lord. I ask for your continued healing and restoration of this knee as a person test, tests their healing. Now, I want you to um, assess if you've had further improvement and it, it needs to go more. I'd, let, I'd ask you to loop the video and continue listening to, to the prayer until it's all healed until it's all healed don't let the pain stay don't this is my philosophy if i'm if i'm getting better if i'm getting better i want to get better until it's all better right um not to stop it in the middle so again i tell pain i'm speaking directly to pain right now in your body and i command it to leave i command healing in the name of jesus where there was pain Father, I thank you even for nerves. So, so I hadn't prayed yet for nerves, but I thank you for restoring nerves. Pinch nerves, inflammation, doesn't matter. If the pinch nerve is up in the back, it doesn't matter. I command it to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. No pain left in that knee. And I, I thank you, Father, for proper nerve function all up and down the leg. So if you do need to continue pressing in for your healing, do that. Loop the video. I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, so, so just loop it back now. Uh, if you have been healed, and, or you know, even if, if you have to stop the video for some reason because you've got to go somewhere and you can't, you literally can't afford the time to keep listening. Um, you know, you, you, I don't know, have to pick up your kids or else, you know, the school is going to find you or something if you haven't picked them up, um, then, then go. But uh, I want you to continue testing and believing and pressing in for your healing. Okay until you fully have it. And when you have it, I, I ask you to leave a testimony uh, on the comments here. I also ask you to tell everybody what God has done for you. Tell people in your life what God has done for you. All I do is pray. I didn't heal you. God healed you. Jesus healed you. He did it in the name of Jesus. He's testifying to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is the Messiah. He is the Savior, and he is the only one. It is super important that we know him it is super important that during this life we come to saving knowledge of him and give our lives to him and make him lord or king or master over our lives that's super important we only get this one life and one day all of us will stand before him and and be held accountable and and uh, asked to justify our actions to, to have to account for what we've done and said and thought and such. Those who are covered by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus Christ, um, have their names written in the book of life. Those who are who belong to Jesus, who have given him themselves, 
um, they're, they're covered because their names are written in the land's book of life. But those who don't, um, the, the Bible says, uh, have to have to suffer uh, having a judgment for having rejected Jesus. So if, if you've heard of Jesus and, and you've rejected him, that's not good. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go to the fiery, the fiery pit. We have this one life to, to get to know the living God. And he wants us to. That's, that's what's so beautiful. He so longs for us. He so longs for us to be in relationship with him. He so longs for it that he himself came and sacrificed his own son on the cross that we could be with him. He made the way where we couldn't make the way. He did what we never could have done, and he redeemed us from sin and death. So if you don't know this Jesus, it is so important. As I just said, there at the top of the screen right now, there will be a link to a video where you can learn a little bit more about Jesus in under five minutes, you can hear kind of the brief story. If you um, do know Jesus and God has touched you in a new way and you're like, I need to know Jesus more, there's a prayer for intimacy, a guided prayer for intimacy. That'll be at the top of the screen right now. Okay. Now, if you are ready to give your life to Jesus and you haven't already, but you've just been healed and you now know because the Holy Spirit of God has opened your heart and you're realizing, wow, Jesus is who he says he is. He is the son of God. He is God with us, Emmanuel. There is a prayer for salvation on this channel as well. The link will be at the top of the screen right now, guided prayer for salvation. You can go pray that it is a longer video and a longer prayer. And I want you to realize the importance of that. Um, I just want you to make the decision knowing what you're doing and recording it so that you have that to stand on later. So please, I encourage you to watch the whole thing. If you absolutely refuse, there is, there is a prayer. You can just pray the prayer uh, either by kind of moving toward the middle of the video where the prayer is, guided prayer, or um, looking in the comments or the description of the video, there's a prayer there as well. You can just pray on your own. But I do encourage you to watch the video and follow the suggestions in there to document for yourself why you're making this decision so that you'll have that for later because it's, it's so important to know what you're doing um, simply because it's, it's not always easy following Jesus. Sometimes we have to remember what he has done for us and how good he is in order to be encouraged and keep going. So that's a guided prayer for salvation. There is also a guided prayer for revelation. That link will be at the top of the screen right now. That's for if you don't know Jesus, you haven't given your life to him, maybe you've heard about him, but you're not ready yet. You're not sure you might be walking, uh, practicing another faith, um, thinking, you know, having followed other gods, um, and you're just, you know, you're, you're just got butterflies in your heart right now and feeling like, well, I, I can't dismiss it. I, I, I can't ignore this. Um, I'm just not ready yet. There, there is a guided prayer for revelation that you can go pray. That link is at the top of the screen right now. And all you're doing basically is saying, God, if you're real and you're this Jesus that I'm hearing about, please, please show me. I, I want to know if, if that's true. I need to know that. And I want, I ask you to get me there. So that's a guided prayer for revelation. You, you can pray that if you don't believe in any God too, but if, if you're feeling butterflies right now, there's a reason. At that is your heart telling you something. All right. Well, God bless you. Thank you for watching the videos and do share your healing testimony. I thank you, Father, for the healing you have done now in the listener's life, for the new knees, the, the freedom from pain, freedom from bursitis, 
healed ligaments, healed sprains, all of that in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. God bless you.